what is good people this is your boy lord williamson coming back to you with another one and today my third day in vietnam man love it i love it i love ho chi minh city i love the loud the loud motorcycles the people yelling dogs barking crackheads smoking but today this video we are going to go to Ben Than Market. This is the most famous market in Ho Chi Minh City. So we're gonna see how Ben Than Market compares to the Night Bazaar Market in Pattaya and the other the other markets that we've seen in Bangkok and stuff like that. I saw a lot of um, people on YouTube talking about how crazy it was to cross the street. And when I tell you they are not lying, this is definitely the hardest part about traveling in Vietnam. Like they don't have too many rules crossing the street. Just got to the destination. You can definitely tell it's a tourist spot. Chao Ben Ten. We got everything in here, man. So what's up? Yo, this is way bigger than a tire. Hello, hello. No, thank you. Oh, no, thank you. See, excuse me. Can I see hat? I know it's fine. We have black. Black or black, huh? Black. Need me a new hat, guys. My man is over here helping me. We got the, we got the Prada. How much for the Prada? The Prada one? Mm-hmm. This one? $280. 280 mm. I like this. What about this one? This is way cheaper than 280 huh? 200 200 yeah. He said he'll do this one for 200 uh, dong, so that's like $8 uh, USD. But I'm going to look around a little bit and come back to him. They got the Dior. Dior, they got everything. Let's see. Did you keep right, my friend? Did you get the first customer for me? I don't say hi, right, my friend. Hmm? The first customer. Are know. you the first customer? No, yeah, no, first customer no way. For me. This, this time. That means you got to give today, me a good today, price, man. Today. That means you got to give me a good price. Yeah, actually, I'm not lucky. I get the first customer. You can't do the same price for this one? Mm -hmm. Same price. Same price. This one. This. That. Uh, oh, they, that's a hundred? Only hundred thousand. That's a hundred? Yes. Yeah, okay, yeah, a hundred. No? no? <laughs> it's okay. One, it's okay. It's okay. Okay, I do for you. Lucky. Give lucky? lucky for me. Okay, we can me, do for you. Let, let me look. I'll come back. We can do for you. Because I'm going to find one of these for, I'm going to find one of these somewhere for a hundred. But like, I'll come back. You are hundred. This one okay? No. Pretty lucky it's for beautiful. me, my friend. <laughs> don't do that, my Okay, friend. If, if I don't find one, I'll come back. Don't wait for me and then you <laughs> come back. You say you want the, you want the good quality samurai and then you say you come back with me. Look, don't, don't do the cost for tomorrow for me. Uh, if I, if I come back, I'll pay 180. If I come back, I'll pay 180. How much? Oh. Okay, do good clip. That's it. That's all I got. Okay. That's okay. all I got. Okay, yeah. <laughs> That's all I got. Okay. You're very really good bar bargain. No, you. You are a good bargain. <laughs> you have channel? You, you, yeah. You have channel, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, very nice. What's up, man? Hi. Hey. Thank you. Hi. Five stick for in the Bantai market. Welcome to Edward. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thank you. When y'all come to Saigon, y'all yeah. shop with him. He's going he's gonna to bargain you like he bargained me. Yeah. How much you say? 120 Okay. Do for me, my um, this is probably the best. This is probably the best quality. This is definitely the best quality that they have. Yeah, they have. This is some of the best quality stuff. Vietnam has some of the best quality stuff out here for sure. I mean, like, dog, you would not know. Like coming from a sneakerhead, like the okay, the that the bottom is a little off. You know what I'm saying for the pine green joints. But like, ain't no way. Yeah, like the bottoms. That's where you going That's where you know the bottoms. Hello, hello, hello. Ah, big size thirteen. 
It's the first size 13 I've seen. I was saying, how much? One million. So that's forty-two dollars for right here. That's a good quality. Good, good. I wait. Uh, for, for two, size thirteen. This is uh, forty-two dollars. So that's a great. That's a great steal. Like it's ridiculous, bro. It's ridiculous. Like the quality of this. Like it's so good. One thing I noticed about Bentham Market was the more professional the vendor looked, the better quality the stuff they had was. You can tell that this place was super professional because they had lights, they had the setup and everything. And guaranteed they had the best quality watches that I've seen in a long time. How much? Uh, 320. 280. Very nice, my friend. The quality of the stuff here is so good, I'm, I'm literally shocked. The Rolex was heavy, the hats are good. You know, I'll buy like a, a hat or, you know, a shirt from here. I'm not. Now, some of y'all, y'all can come out here and get y'all some Rolexes and go back to the city and be flexed up. Now, your whole lifestyle got to probably match, you know what I'm saying? You can't have no fake rolly and then be living at your mama crib. I mean, they literally have everything here, man. You want food, smoothies, literally everything. It's, it's ridiculously big. This is, the best, this is the best market I've been to. So if y'all want to come in here and sell, get some goods, take them back, sell fake goods, I'm telling you, this is the spot. So I just got me some workout gear. Got me some uh got me some Yikey. Got me some Yikey workout gear. Great quality man. I got the Nike shirt for about seven dollars. Got the hat for around I wanna say I forgot what it was, but y'all five or six dollars. I'm still super shocked that it's this good of quality for this price. Definitely, definitely a dope spot, man. Definitely, definitely advise you to come here if you need, if you're a solo traveler for sure. Because a lot of times when you solo travel, you know, some of the clothes you have gets dingy. You know, some of the stuff you lose, some of the stuff, you know, just gets dirty. And so this is a definitely a dope place to come. I got a dry fit Nike shirt for like $6. This is a hustle area of the world, so they out here hustling. They gonna try, oh, this is my first sale of the day. This is my first sale of the day. Stop it. Well, if it's your first sale, you better be nice. This is 25 dong, which is a dollar, which is a dollar. 25 dong for a dollar. Oh my God. 
you know, if you can get over the the not so sanitary stuff, you know, you'll be fine. They got roaches in here like they first cousins. They got roaches in here like they first cousins, but hey, let's focus on the positive, not the negative. Cause this shit was busting. Hope a roach don't climb out of here, cause I'm gonna be pissed. It's one of the best smoothies I've ever had. And I've said that already like five times a day. Hey, they out, ladies. Y'all better check y'all husband in these rings. They out here buying rings. So this one's 86, this one's 76. Very good quality, you guys. Very good quality. Okay, I come back, my friend. That by far is the best knockoff stuff I've ever seen. Ever. And I don't see it. I worked in three retail shops. You know what I'm saying? All real stuff, but... I worked in consignment shops where people would try to come and sell you stuff and like a lot of it be fake. They be trying to get over on people in the city. But that, granted you can still tell. If you're a sneakerhead, you can still tell what's real, what's fake. But it's the level of difficulty. Like how good are those fakes? That ro The first Rolex I had, the reason it was so expensive because you could tell it was heavy. It was heavy. You know, I had a good weight to it. At Ben Tan Market, I roughly spent around $15. I think I got $6 for this hat, $5 for a t-shirt, that's 11 Another $5 for a souvenir for my mom, and another dollar for, uh, for the smoothie. Definitely a good steal. Like, all for stuff that I'm a, you know, you go to the markets like that, you buy stuff, you don't buy it to last. It doesn't, it's not gonna last you. It may shrink bad. But you buy stuff to mess it up, you know what I'm saying? I got this hat because it's hot as hell. You know what I'm saying? Uh, then I got this shirt because I need another, some more workout gear. But can't beat it, man. Roughly around $15, $16 for a few items. Look at this M3. I don't know. They could have got that from Ben Tam Market, too. Beautiful. That could be a Honda. They got it from Ben Tan Market. That could be a La Honda. Nothing, man. Nothing, just vibing. What about what's, what? Up, what up? Huh? Oh uh, no, no, no. You know uh, where Philip is? Uh -huh. Philip. Where did you from? Uh, Philip on these nuts, man. Uh, but yeah, like anything. I'm childish, man. I'm super childish. Childish, bro. All right, man. So just getting back to the spot. Give you all a rundown of what I got at Bentham Market. I got this for eight dollars. All right. I got a souvenir from my Dukes. I got that for a thing. I want to say like four dollars. A nice little souvenir, handcrafted. Um, and then I got this workout shirt, which I'm gonna definitely go back and get more because the quality on this is insane. Um, and I got this for about roughly five to six dollars man honestly like you really can't beat that unless there's a blowout sale in mississippi that i don't know about you can't beat that in the u.s man so uh like i said went there and spend some money and the good thing about this place is it has the best quality of stuff this isn't the regular fake stuff that you're gonna see from a mile away and be like oh yeah that's fake this is some stuff that i really like the shoes i wouldn't get fake shoes um you know i got bad feet anyways wouldn't get fake shoes but if you are on that type of time, this is a place where you can get some stuff at, man. If you want to go back and sell stuff to all the rappers in Atlanta, because you know they be rocking fake stuff, all them Rolexes, this is a place for you to get your stuff, man. But I'm going to end the video now, man. I appreciate you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that like button. It really helps with the algorithm. And y'all stay tuned to the next video, man. It's your boy, Lord Williamson. I'm out. Peace.